going on, everybody? What's going on, guys? It is Thursday. I'm sure y'all knew that already. <laughs> and, uh, welcome. Welcome. Uh, what's, go what's up, Silencer? Hey, I want to thank, let's thank James for streaming some control this morning. Thank you, James, for streaming some control. Hold on a second here. So let's change the game title. Oh, I'll put games. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Alright. Uh, thank you, James, for uh, passing it off to me and uh, for, for playing Control. That's a fantastic game. And you can go right now on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash dragon blogger, and you can watch my Is It Good review of Control, and, I, well, and I'll let you know if the game is good or not, which, um, I mean, if you're watching James' stream of the game, it kind of speaks for itself, but um, be sure to watch you can watch that video review I did of the game. You can go watch that right now, but don't watch it right now because you got to watch me right now playing Thimbleweed Park. I hope you guys have had a good morning so far and have enjoyed watching James stream. Um, what I'm going to start doing is, and I've been doing this already, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to get right into playing the game. I want to kind of get in like a little introduction, maybe take about 10, 20 minutes of a little bit of an intro before we get into playing the game itself. Um, I'm going to turn down the music just a little bit here. There we go, so you guys can hear me. And... Um, so yeah, so... Uh, so uh, I don't. Uh, this is going to be the last day, whether or not we finish Thimbleweed. This is going to be the last day I stream the game. We'll come back to it later, if I don't finish it, because starting on Monday... Noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Get ready, because we're going to be playing an entire playthrough of the game Blair Witch. Blair Witch comes out tomorrow. I'll be streaming it Monday, because, of course, I'll be at a convention this weekend uh, downtown here in Indianapolis. So we will be uh, streaming on Monday, brand new game, Blair Witch. Then we're going to follow that up. Uh, hopefully, I, I haven't heard back yet, with a game called Man of Medan. It's the Dark Pictures Man of Medan. Is the next game we're going to be playing. And that will probably end up being that week that week as well. But then, uh, we will be getting into Gears of War 5. One week from Monday. We'll be playing the story. And uh, we'll be playing that all week. Two weeks, uh, a week from this Monday. Coming Monday will be Gears 5. And then after that, I don't know. We're going to play some multiplayer. We'll play some, uh, we'll play some games. We'll play the story. Be on the lookout for Gears 5 a week from Monday. And then, of course, November the 12th, uh, an eight-hour charity stream. Hosted by yours truly. I'll be playing all kinds of games that day. I'm going to try to download all sorts of little game, little bitty games. Little indie games. Some AAA games. Probably play some sports games. Some racing games. All kinds of games. We're going to do Overwatch. Apex Legends. We're going to also have some uh, little, in like I said, little indie games here and there. Sports games. Some games you've never seen me play here on stream. It's going to be an 8 hour-long charity stream because your boy likes doing charity and this is going to be for Riley Hospital for Children. I'm partnering up with them to uh, raise money because I work for a charity called Extra Life. You might have heard of them. They're a nationwide charity here in America that allows people locally to raise money for uh, any of the Children's Miracle Network hospitals and Riley Hospital for Children happens to be one of those hospitals. So I will be here on Twitch on November the 12th, which I believe that's a Saturday. 
I never really checked. I haven't really checked my schedule for that. Uh, that's uh, November twelfth. Is it Tuesday? That can't be right. Tuesday? I'll I'll make sure about that. It's it's in November. We'll see. We'll say the twelfth. But if it's not November twelfth, it's in November. So get ready for that coming up in November. I've been saying the twelfth. Maybe it's the twelfth. Who knows? If it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. We'll figure this out. But I will be doing an eight hour stream and I've already streamed for seven hours here so I'm gonna join the eight hour club uh, I think Nate Nathaniel did a did a six hour stream a few days ago so welcome to that um, and I do I do challenge our other twitchers here stream as long as I can and on that day also I am planning on, uh, we're gonna, I want to I wanna work with James, I want to work with Justin and Kat and Nathaniel to have them pick their local charity that is a part of Extra Life. And I'd like to see if we can't have something going on for 24 hours here and have those guys also be doing uh, charity as well. So, uh, Kat... James, hi cat, I see you here. <laughs> How you doing? If you guys can all uh, maybe take a take a shift that day, it doesn't have to be eight hours. Yeah, I don't expect anybody else to do eight hours, but me. But if you guys can do maybe three, four, five hours, raise some money for some charity that day, uh, you know, we could do we, that'd be great. But I'll be playing Overwatch that day, Apex Legends, the two games that I really enjoy. And I'm kind of good at. Um, be doing that that day and a lot of other game a whole host of games and if you guys can't do long streams you're more than welcome to do as however long of a stream as you can I'd like to kind of get us to have at least as a total amongst all of us here on this channel that stream I like to have us in total participate have 20 hours done on this channel if we can or maybe even 15. Let's see if we can get at least 15 hours on this stream done in one day and try to raise as much money as we can. I want to raise a thousand dollars. I think we can raise it. I personally, me, I want to raise a thousand dollars myself. <laughs> Eight hours that day. So if we can get that done, tell everybody you know, tell your friends and family, let them know that we're going to be doing a charity stream that day to tune in. Hell, they don't even have to really watch the channel. They can just. You can give them a donation link. Tell them, hey, you like, I'm raising money for charity that day. Uh, throw a donation my way. And uh, donations are probably not going to pop up on stream. I'll read them out loud here. So uh, if you're all the, if you're one of those people who likes to see your name up on the channel, I don't know, maybe we can figure something out. We we could have a PayPal link or something, or we can have a stream labs and then just take what we, all the donations we get from that stream labs and then donate it to Riley. We'll figure something out. We'll see what we can do. But uh, we got months. We got a few months to go before before that. I really want to get back into Overwatch. By the way, I know they got a new. Uh, there's a new. Uh, there's a new character. I think his name is Sigma. I don't remember. Uh, I, I I don't really play much. I'm kind of a semi-retired semi-retired Overwatch pl <laughs> <ca> uh, player. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little semi-retired when it comes to that game. So. Um, I am going to be taking a break at, I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take an hour long break at new or at two because I have somebody buying a, buying some stuff for me. So I, I'm going to split this stream up. I'm going to take an hour long break at two and then uh, I'll be back on at three. So if somebody wants to stream for an hour, you can, but uh, I, I'm going to take an hour long break at two. And then I'm gonna come back and stream some more uh, to to kind of break up the stream. I feel like, you know, uh, I take a lot of breaks while I'm streaming, so I figured an hour long break would be great. And then I'll come back and uh, be back at three, okay, three Eastern. So I'm gonna take a, take a break at two Eastern, which is uh, 11 a.m. Pacific, and I'll be back at noon Pacific. Uh, go from there. So, uh, Cat says Sigma is a game changer. He's tough to go against. Is he an offensive character or a defensive character? I know he's not a healer. Like I said, your boy Brian's out of, been out of the game for a while. But see, the thing about Overwatch is, in my opinion, is I, it's one of those games I feel like I could just go right back into. Like, I could literally just, like, 
uh, it's, it's one of those games I feel like I can jump right back on and be just as good. I'm a Bastion main myself. I like to. I'm a Bastion main. My sub main is usually like uh, Soldier 76. I like. I like. I like Reaper. He's a tank. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. They got a new tank character. I like that. I like that. New tank. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, let's get right into it. We're going to play some more this. We finished uh, a storyline. I don't know if y'all caught that, but we did, in fact, finish a storyline here. We finished the uh, oh. agents oh, storyline. Oh, you know, really dead. It's oh, just didn't starting do, didn't to, start you know, sink in. I'm never going <laughs> to hold my Dolores again. Oh, I never Franklin. told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. Hey, what's up, Savio? A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Uh, all right, so his to-do list. Try to uh, visit Chuck's tomb. I guess we can do that real quick. Let's go visit Calling the tomb. Calling all geeks. ThimbleCon 87 is now open. What? ThimbleCon? I didn't know. What? Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Listen to Case Gum to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. ThimbleCon. I'm going to con tomorrow. Get into the penthouse. Try to talk to Dolores. Alright, uh, Dolores is at the uh, Sea Hall, so we can talk to her Ooh. over there. Whoops. What? Can I leave? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier. Damn. Uh, right, so I'm not going to be able to visit Chuck's tomb. Alright, let's. Uh, he doesn't. I uh -oh. can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this? treatment all i wanted to do <laughs> was entertain people and make them laugh at the oh yeah guys stupidity of stupid people real quick guys does the audio I sound fine like there's a lesson in all of this but you i'm ransom the clown it's all that the audio like franklin's fault he was going to talk Echo. to Chuck about putting my new high-tech ransom okay, the good. clown license dolls into Thank production God. at the old pillow factory then he flaked out. He's sure. probably in Mexico <laughs> skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! <laughs> That's hilarious. So, prototype Ransom the Clown doll. Alrighty then. You know what I love? Is when you think you don't have anything to drink at the moment. And then you open your mini fridge and you see you have a drink and you're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you're just like, it's the most beautiful thing ever, ever made. Uh, break into Phil Patrick, get the Phil out. Break, I literally said break into the pillow factory. Break into the pillow factory. <laughs> Get the key. Win tickets to beeping ThimbleCon. Collect 11 more specs of this. Okay, so 11. So this will be 10 more. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. He's not going in there. I'm not going in that hole. I don't do okay. cannons or dark places. Okay, fair enough. Let's... Gross! <laughs> Pick up. Let's see what happens when you, when you try to pick it up. Gross. Trestle trail to Thimbleweed Park. See, can I go this way? There's nothing up ahead but road. The town's in the other direction. Ha <laughs> Yeah, dude, this this guy is great. He bleeps like, he bleeps every word. And yeah, I I open my 
mini fridge, and I forgot that I bought a body armor. Which, by the way, if you guys are looking, I'm trying to, I'm really trying my best to drink healthier. Like water. You know, and not have as much caffeine. I'll have coffee. Coffee is actually good for you. It's actually good caffeine as long as you don't drink a lot of it. But, if you're looking for something that's good, that tastes good, body armor. Go get some body armor. Especially the peach mango. Mmm. That's what I'm drinking right now. The peach mango. It's got like coconut. It's made of coconut water. There's got, uh, which I love coconut. Coconut water is great. And so is almond milk, but the sugar free kind. Um, tea is good, but tea also has caffeine in it. And if you're going to drink tea, try not to get sugar in it. But we all know sugar free, unsweet tea is nasty. Um, let's see. What's to say this has? And it usually gives a breakdown of what all is in here. But it's got uh, tons of vitamins. So yeah, it's good stuff. Coconut water is great. Oh. Oh yeah, peach mango. That's what I'm talking about. Peach mango all the all day. That's speck of dust. That looks like a speck of dust. Tricking me, trying to trick me, game. Trying to trick me. Those look like specks of dust. Um. Wait, wait, wait. There's one. Here's one. Give me it. There we go. Yeah, peach mangoes. What's you guys? Let me ask you guys a question. What are some of your favorite flavors of like? Uh, what are some of your favorite flavors? Period. Like, y'all have any favorite flavors and stuff? I'm gonna go in here and try to find. Specs. I am not going into oh, a okay. cemetery until I'm good and dead. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, what are some of y'all's favorite flavors of stuff? I love peach. I love mango. I love um, strawberry is pretty good, except strawberry milk. I will never understand that. There are actual humans that like strawberry milk. I ch I'm a chocolate milk guy. It's the back door to the diner. Like what? Chocolate milk, mess. chocolate milk all the way, but, but strawberry milk, I don't, and then they have like banana flavored milk, uh oh, meanwhile, banana milk. Here goes nothing. Is she, what is she doing? Wait, 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 hold up. You're supposed to be on the bus. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Why is she? I knew, I knew it. I knew Agent Ray was back. Mm -hmm. Not long now. What does he do? What? I thought. I thought. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your uh, room milk teas. Uh, they're okay. We have this place here. Uh, in Indy downtown. It's called More T. M O A R T. And man, oh man, they're. They. One, they have some of the best Asian food. They give you these little. These boxes you can buy. And you get this little card and you get to check off, like, okay, what, what protein do you want? So you can, like, you can pick one for this price, two for this price. I always do chicken and shrimp because I love shrimp. And then, uh, you know, what kind of rice do you want? So I do white rice because it's healthier for you. And then I do spinach, kale. And then chopped mango. Yeah, chopped mango. I love mangoes. And then I put carrots, broccoli, spicy mayonnaise, spicy mayo, and I forget what else. And it's so good. It's, oh man, it's the best thing ever. Uh, milk teas are okay. I, I don't mind milk teas. I love bubble tea. Faux all the way. I like, faux is good too. Don't get me, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Faux is good too. Why is she back here? When? Look at the phone. There's a message waiting on the phone. Okay. How do I? How do I answer the message? Oh, 
Oh wait, do I just use the phone? Use. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is. See a cat. You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. What the hell? What in the hell? To-do list. He says... Oh. Hold up. Arrived in Thimbleweed Park from Albuquerque by bus, heading out to look at the body. This is perfect cover. Still walk along the highway. It's a long way from town. Arrived at the body, and Agent Ray is here, which is odd. No one should have been assigned to the case. I may have heard of her from rumors around the office. Might post some problems for me. So wait. Are they both, like, not real? Really who they are? You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? En what? un paquete a recepción es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. <laughs> Wait, how the... Here's your package, boo. Thank you. Uh, somebody explain what pho is. It's a type of food. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act. That's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't <laughs> looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. So is think good. It's time we came clean and so told the real truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> you first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I suspect, I suspect Thimbleweed Park is a secret UFO base. Bullshit. Okay. I'm here looking to buy a nice house for the family. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I'm investigating local corruption. Bullshit. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering Bullshit. why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. So, okay, that's interesting. Guard there. How old were you? Oh. I was only five. Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic in the factory machines. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, oh yeah, why that looks are you good. Really here? Well, that looks good. Just here to see if there is an opening on the Thimbleweed Park Police Force. Bullpucky. Well. Bull I'm on pucky. vacation and stumbled onto the dead body and thought I'd help. Bullpucky. Well, <laughs> I'm up for promotion and this is the official hazing. Bullpucky. Well, I'm just gonna use all the bad excuses. I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow, national security. That's some She's heavy NSA shit. stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of boo for you. <laughs> James is like, damn it, now I'm getting faux. There isn't really, I don't think there's any good faux places near me for me to order or get any faux. <laughs> I wish there was. Okay, let's it's look at this package. To me. I've been waiting for this. Let's Perfect. Open it. It's a special tool for a spe It's a very strange looking tool. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has what a very important use near the end of the game. Ha! Sell the secret to the pillow factory. Yeah, I break into the pillow factory. Get the key to it. Win tickets to nerdy 
Thimblecon, collect nine more specs of dust. Okay, so she has In to In case collect. of emergency, do not... Hmm. Oh, sir, I don't like it. Come on. Speck of dust. Speck of dust, baby. Collect eight more specks of dust. Ah, oh, we got eight more specks of dust, guys. Only eight. Find evidence that Dad didn't start the factory fire. Get into the pool factory. Let's get key to the factory gate. Win tickets to Amazing Thimblecon. And, of course, the, the dust. All right, so... Oh, wait. He needs to open this, by the way. Open. Yes! It's my father's watch. It's my father's old pocket watch. But it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. Willie can fix it, because he is the... He's the he's the guy. He's the guy. He is the man that can fix this. Hold on, let's, let's go over here. We're going to go talk to Willie. Main Street. Because I know he can fix it. He's upstairs. He's upstairs in the other thing. Chick-fil-A is good, too. I'm innocent! If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. Okay, so we need tools. So, I think his old watch factory... She doesn't want to talk to me. I think his old watch factory... Hello. Pizza, pizza! What a free pizza coupon! Wink, wink. What? Is the pizza free or the coupon free? Ah. Mmm. I don't think I understand. <laughs> you could be arrested for dressing like that. Who are you? Are you the cops? I'm looking to score I'm some looking pizza. To some pizza. You're a fed. Well, I can tell by the suit. Oh, I just knew it. I know my rights. I need to see a warrant. This is an illegal arrest. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell? Where is he going? Where did he? Where did he go? I hope I can go in here. Is there any tools Welcome in here, to maybe? Pal. Can I help you find anything? Whoa, the feds are back. What brings you to town again, dude? Can you tell me anything about the pillow factory? Uh, other than it being the greatest achievement in Thimbleweed history? Yes, other than that. Nah, afraid I can't. Factory has been locked up for years. What's the deal with the plant? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never <laughs> even looked in my closet before. I thought oh it God. was a tomato plant. I was talking about the plant on the counter there, sir. Phew. For a minute there, I thought I was busted. Good save, Leonard. Why do you have a man-eating plant in the store? My boss thought it might eat some of the rats that like to run across the counter. Customers don't like to see a rodent chomping on their grindage, you know? Uh, but so far, all it's done is bite a finger off some kid who tried to lift a candy bar. Boy, did we get some cred for that. We're back in town tying up loose ends. Oh, I get it. Loose ends. Wank, wank. I'm not sure I know what you mean. I, I just mean I get what you mean by loose ends. 
I'm cool, man. <laughs> you don't have to be coy with me. I'll keep my lips zipped on your gnarly bears. What? I honestly have no idea what you think we're doing. You dudes are like the total James Bond deal, right? License to kill and all that tubular jazz. <laughs> I won't say <laughs> anything if you came to tie up some of those loose ends. Yeah, both those games are great. I've actually finished both Celeste and Inside. Do you think we're here to murder someone? That's what loose ends is code for, right? No. Come no. on, you can tell me. I'm big time down, broski. Unless... Uh, I am the loose end? Uh, I swear, I was only holding on to that stuff for a friend. Please don't hurt me, dude. You gotta go. Catch you on the flip-flop, dude. Catch you on the flip-flop. See you next week. All right, Jablonski Games. Oh, there's another speck of dust. Speck of dust. They must uh, add more specks of dust on each chapter. All right, so seven more specks of dust to collect. We need to uh, let's see. Fix Dad's watch. Get into the pill factory. We, we need to find the tool. What if he had any? Do you have any? Can I go Looks in here? Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there. But it's pretty stinky. I can't open that. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna try to use as many hints this play. Corner of Main Time and plus. B Streets. Let's go down here. Where was the watch store? Oh, you know what? YouTube. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? It's out of order. But how is it ringing? The hell? It's out of order. That was, that was weird, yeah. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Speck of dust? There's another one. Alright, so that's gonna leave us with uh, six more. We know where the fifth, we know where another one's at. Is there any more? There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished stamp art from a cut room. <laughs> Kind of funny. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi! Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. Oh, I thought you feds had left town already. Welcome to Ricky's that YouTube. Being solved and everything. Yeah, it really does. Just dotting the I's and crossing the T's, ma'am. Well, good luck with that. What can I do for you, hun? Do you have any vacuum tube jokes? No, I don't know any vacuum tube jokes. But I do know some bakery humor from my cake shop days. Wanna hear one? Why did the baker ask for an advance on his paycheck? Oh, God. Because he needed the dough. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good bakery joke. Oh my god. <laughs> I get it, because dough is slang for money. Goodbye. Don't be no, safe. No more bake. No more bakery jokes. <laughs> YouTube. That's great. Let's go. The bank is always closed. Let's try it. Let's... Where is the watch shop? Oh, you know what? I never did give, uh, what's her name, the mushroom. Let's go to the, um, sewer.
Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop, Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Si it's didn't dark, it? Silent, silent, but silent. I can see there's nothing in there. We're gonna go into the sewers. See if we can find Willie's um, <clears throat> tool of some kind to help repair the watch. Some type of knob or valve looks rusty and immovable. Madame Marina's special. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. I can't open that. We can't pick it up? I don't have a warrant for a badly tuned violin. Nothing more to see. I can't open that. Uh, my nose tells me that my eyes don't want to look at that. Ah, <sighs> damn it. So that looks like a speck of dust right there. Nothing more to see. Why have so many of these valves been welded up? Ha! Huh, a safety cone for all the hundreds of people who visit this. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's keep going. this way so obviously nothing in there let's go give the mushroom to the, uh, the magic mushroom to the lady the gypsy looking lady Actually, let's visit the cemetery. Let's see if there's any specks of dust over here. She said her very special tool for the end of the game. Can I open it? I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. I shouldn't say anything out loud, but... Huh! It's weird. Okay, so we can't go that way. There is no specks of dust in here. We're gonna go back and... I forget where I was gonna go. Where was I gonna go? Go back into town. Huh. I need to get into the factory to get my
prototype doll back. We haven't talked to Dolores yet. I can't so help but say. feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to yeah, him she's to find out what happened. So she's trying to get into the office too. Get inside. See, she wants to get into the office too. Now he, let's see. I wonder if I can get him to the penthouse now. Because there's no ghosts in the elevator. No. Um. There's a speck of dust over here. Let's go pick that up. Five more, we got a handful left. Let's see if we can get, uh... None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Oh God! How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Okay. So I need to listen. So I need to listen to the radio. Let's see that real quick. Let's go. Shit! What floor am I on? 808? Okay. See if we can win tickets. Let's see if we can win tickets to ThimbleCon. It's locked. Dude. On the radio. It's turned off. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. What's their note? Seven two eight six. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello, caller. You're live on KSUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 Oh, let's tickets. go. Your let's win them. question is, who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? Oh, come on. Come on. Really? That's correct. Here's your second question. Who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this Oh, wall. this is easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You got it right. And your final question, <clears throat> fill in the blank. This is your brain. This is drugs. Blank. This is your brain on drugs. You got it. Let's see how you did. You got three out of three. A perfect score. You win four Damn right. ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Um, my name. Thank you, and congratulations. Dive Rush Sleepwood. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. 
Those were all really hard questions. <laughs> Alright. Let's go uh, into Thumblecon. We're going to Thimblecon, baby. I'm going to a convention in a game. I'm going to a conve an actual convention tomorrow. No. Go out the door. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. How may I? There should be some Thimblecon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. What is Case your gun. name, Abu, please? Ah, yes. Here's your name, Abu. Guy brush Luke Wood. How else may That's I be Abu of service? <laughs> I'm going to check. Goodbye. Alright. Now. <clears throat> we can go to, to uh, Thumblecon. Give. Make it to Dragon. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah. Prosper. Oh boy. Do you need some cosplay advice? I'm cosplaying an FBI agent investigating the paranormal. Whatever you say. See you later. <laughs> Ken Thien. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I don't know what D&D is. Okay. I don't read comics. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> They're comics, D&D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. No touching. A dime a dozen. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. Starships in bottles! Handmade! Oh God. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry <laughs> tools? Despite not having the requisite plus five dexterity to wield them, I might loan you the tools if you oh can get God. me some dinner. How do you? I use the. Deal can I borrow? I already did that. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger, and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, hamburger. Got How it. much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today, we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Oh, God. Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Oh, Jesus. Which is the best science fiction show ever <coughs> made. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Congratulations. You've won a replica <laughs> of the starship Isabella. I should have said Star Wars. <laughs> you will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the plaque says it's a tiny replica of the starship Isabella in a bottle. We won the tickets. Five more speco dust. Which is there any specks of dust in here? Oh, there's one. All right, guys, we only need four more specks of dust to complete that. By the way, let's go talk to Silent Spot. I can't imagine why I would want to talk to him. I can't imagine a game nerd would have anything I want. Cutting edge computer technology. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Hmm. I wonder. He's 
Corey. And? He's Corey. And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest. Oh my yeah. God. So, get Thanks, Brad out Kitty. of here. <laughs> Good one, Corey. For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown. Oh my God. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the Ransom Lookalike Contest. Is that a switch in here? Okay. That's fine. We'll get, we'll get a... Uh-oh. What is this all about? This is creepy. Whoa. What is going on? on what the hell that's agent reyes is that a sign of things to come is that what this is all about hmm all right let's go uh to a hamburger that's what we need okay let's go downstairs Let's try to get a hamburger. Hey, clown face. Oh, stop it. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? Hamburger. I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad. And I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. Okay, Bye. For now. Anytime. I get sick just looking at it. No way am I gonna eat another one of those. Let's we'll see if I can get him to eat you one. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a bee-pole clown. Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Just order your food and get lost. Thimbleweed Park. Thimbleweed Park. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke Two on left. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap. And I ought to know. I, uh... Gotta go. <laughs> I feel better now. Let's get uh, Del let's get Dolores to go eat one, and then we'll bring Reyes over here. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? I'm having an amazing time. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway, I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. This hot dog is even uh. worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh... 
gotta go. better now <laughs> I think we have to make them all eat a hot dog let's get oh shit where's wait wait hold up oh they are do they already have Reyes oh shit that's not good that's not good where's he at oh, is he in the coroner's office Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. What'd they do? what they do with Reyes? Wait, hold up, hold up, what? It's I saw him in there. Em it's empty. Chewy Caramel Center. What the hell? That's really weird. He was in... He was in here. I'm innocent! We got a confession. You're swinging, murder boy. Get... Get... Damn it. Where is Reyes? Was he not in the damn? Lots of med, lots, lots of medical books there. I know a dude was in here. Hmm. Something's not right. Something's not, some, some, something's not, something's off, <laughs> something's off. Let's go, let's go to the hotel. I can leave the county, right? I don't need a map, I got, let's go to the hotel. Alright, let's go to the hotel. Oh man, this hotel. He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a Yeah, skid <laughs> Good Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. Where's the joke book? Hi, anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. Hey, what's up, Justin? Good to see you. I teased a guy to tears over D and D once. Okay. Good. He's like, I don't care. Bye. Do you need some cosplay advice? Some cosplay oh, advice? it's you. Oh. Beep off. A card table at a fifth-rate convention? How the mighty have fallen. I wouldn't talk if I were you. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. Like squeaks every ransom. What are you doing here? What's your problem? You, we're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. 
With that mouth -a -boo of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. Wow, he's a real gym of a person. It's my tube of Kozlerik's patented anti-itch medicine. Let's go to the old circus. There's any specks of dust in here. Looks like a rattle. There's an inch thick layer of dust on it. Hasn't been used in years. Mm. Where's the joke book? Talk to Dolores. Let's see, she needs to find out what happened to Dad. Oh, maybe we can get into the penthouse oh. now. Oh. Ooh. Can we get in there now? I think we can now. Uh-oh, we can. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Okay, we made it. We made it into the penthouse. We've, so we've checked off two of the five of his hopeless things he needs to do. <laughs> that sounds really, really, really sad. Gave me after I was Chuck's tomb. Try to talk to Dolores. Okay. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. It's a speck of dust. I can't pick it up. Stay away from my crystal. A new ghost. I told you not to bug me. <laughs> Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. <laughs> Damn. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, <laughs> you would just take it into my secret room. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores <coughs> one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Bye, Xavier. Ah. Sorry for bothering you. I have to get that damn crystal. Better than the view from the balcony. Is there any way... Whoa! Wait, he's back. That was... That was weird. He's back now. Hold on. That was... What'd they do to him? What'd they do to you? What'd they do to you? 
They lobotomized you, didn't they? They touched you? <laughs> What'd they do to you, Re Reyes? Or, uh, Reyes? We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted by the government over the airwaves. We've taken over the radio station until they stop. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. That's really strange. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything... I'll have hot dog. a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's go use uh, Agent Ray. She needs a burger to get the tools. What can I do? I'd like to. Food. Sure. Hamburger. I'll have the. Sorry, C Day. Most foreign, but no. we've seen the last. Damn it! Shut up. I'd like to. Sure. Want food. I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Here you go, hon. All right, got a burger. Let's go give it to uh, to the one dude. <coughs> to the one dude at the convention. It's been a while since I've played these games. I've almost forgotten how much I love these kind of games. Alright, hotel. That should give him the tools to fix the watch. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Delicious. Um, I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. I have to go to my room. <laughs> Tiny tools for working on starships and bottles and jewelry. Okay, we got George tools. A new coke. New coke. <laughs> All right, we gotta. So we gotta go to now. Uh, oh wait, you know what? I should go to the penthouse. See if I can get that speck of dust. Yeah, we got a, uh, a giveaway we're doing right now for a copy of the game Control, which I highly recommend. Um, <clears throat> you guys, that's the game that James has been streaming. If you guys like the game, uh, be sure to check it out. We, we could possibly win a copy if you enter the link that Justin provided. Also, uh, you can go to youtube.com forward slash dragon blogger and you can watch my review of the game. Uh, if you haven't been able to catch him playing it. Who's that now? My review of it. This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time so I see her. Next time I see her. All right, we got an alive character into the penthouse, guys. All right, so let's go grab the dust because we need it. Nice, and I think we only need three. Three more specks of dust. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. There is a person. He's like, there's a hold on. 
great view. I can see everything from here. Stay away from my crystal. Can I zap it? Stay away from my crystal. The crystal is impervious to your pathetic attempt at chilling. There's no water to splash there. Stay away from my crystal. Can't zap it. Stay away from my crystal. Great view. I can see everything from here. Hmm. Aha! Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Get into secret penthouse room. It's a big electrical knife switch straight out of Frankenstein. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. Some weird, po some weird power is keeping me close to the portal to the hotel. I can't get over there. Flowers left over from a funeral. Hmm. No light switch in here? Oh, that's just like the book. Alright, visited Chuck's tomb. We just gotta try to talk to Dolores. And in order to do that, we need the book. Or in order to do that, we need a crystal. I don't know how we get the crystal. Two more specs. Let's do, uh. Let's call our favorite hint line and see what we gotta do yet. Welcome yeah, there back it goes. To the hint, Tron Not all of them, just the one guy. How can I help you? <clears throat> Actually, guys, I'll be right back. Give me about five minutes. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I need a hit. Uh, something in the hotel. You can splash bodies of water. You can splash the fountain and the drinking fountain. Thank you. Goodbye. No, I don't want to hang up. Ah. Thank you. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. Okay. How can I See you, Silencer. Thanks for hanging out with us today, man. Thanks for hanging out. Part 4 will finish once the will is read. To get the will read, you need to meet all its stipulations. You need to start by getting the lawyer to go to the mansion library. Thank you. Goodbye. No, no. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. Hint. How can I help you? Come on, Hintron. Guys, I am going to be getting off here at 2, and then I'm going to take an hour break, and I'll be back at 3 o'clock. We'll stream some more. Then we'll be park. Talk to the lawyer in the cosplay advice booth at ThimbleCon. Convince him to come to the mansion. After talking to the lawyer in the cosplay advice booth, thank you. Okay, that's all I had to do. Alright, I thought that might be what I have to do. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the hotel. Get her to the hotel. And then he. No, wait. She needs to go. I don't know why she didn't do it. Give the damn tools to Reyes. We know also there's a there's a speck of dust in the tomb. Or the cemetery tomb. We can go there and get that. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. Hold on. Give tools to Reyes. Oh, I love carrying stuff. Now he can go give these to Willie, who can fix the tools. Give the tools to Willie. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent! Can you fix this watch? If you fix the... Here's my watch for you. Okay, hand... Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. Hey, watch fixed. Fixed Dad's watch. I don't think these other ones are gonna get done. I think it's it's I think it's Dolores' turn to get her to-do list finished. So we need to go. Cause her stuff's gonna probably get done. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, oh cosplay advice. hi Dolores. Oh. What brings you back to Thimbleweed what brings Park? You back? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000 and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. 
My apologies. I'll go to the mansion mansion right away. Alright, sweet. Let's go to the mansion mansion. Okay. It's my specks of dust. We will probably end up getting the key to the factory. Before I do that, I need I'm gonna go have her get the other speck of dust. From the tomb. <coughs> and then we'll have Dolores have the will read. And I believe that'll be the end of part four. Or part three. And then we will be moving right along into part four. Uh, and start part four until it's time for the hour break. Because I know that's something Co Carnage does. I'm a big Co Carnage fan. And I know that is something that he does. Is he, uh, you know, take a, he'll take an hour long break in between his streams. All right, two more specs o dust, guys. We only got two more to find. Let me check something real quick. Let me look at these. Uh, let me look at these achievements. Collect 50 specs of dust. That's an achievement. 75? There must be a lot of them. Make everyone cry about their life. Read 100 books. Begin part 5. Okay. The cell phone has no reception. It's Chuck Edmonds' final resting place. I'm not gonna get reception out here. Damned cemetery. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. We need. Oh god, I forgot what I was trying to do. I forgot what I was trying to do. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Operator. All operators are uh, having dinner operator. now. Call back tomorrow. Call back tomorrow. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All operators are having dinner now. Right. Let's go in. Oh, let's, oh wait, we gotta go to the mansion. 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 Yeah. Operator. What the hell? No, 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 not in here. What if she has a speck of dust Dig in it. her room? <laughs> that guy's my spirit animal. Digging! Like over and over. Dig in. Should I? I don't, that's not very nice. Dick! I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before here we, we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, 
thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading oh of the God. will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all <laughs> ones and zeros. Dolores, you figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Alright, let's take a look at the will. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Decrypt Chuck's will. Get a thimble bearing pie. Alright. Well, I can do that. <clears throat> and we'll go get some pie. Right, let's go upstairs. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when. No it's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 bot. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's got a magic mushroom. He needs to give that to. No, no, no. What's her nuts? Translate it. <laughs> I need to go give this uh, uh, this over to the lady at the really creepy place over here. The monkey paw the knows. Monkey paw knows. What? I think I found your mushrooms. Found your mu Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Hand it over and we'll Hand see what answers the void answer offers, offers today. What did you see? What Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon, dragon powered by starshine. I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are going to have a blast tonight. I feel I've been had. I feel I've been had. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Don't touch the books Don't unless you know what. This head, head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. <laughs> it's on cursed wheels. Oh boy. Let's go in here. Let's see if there's any any specs in here anywhere now. I'm looking for specs o dust. Any in here? Ha! Boom! One more speck of dust, y'all. I'm not sure what they're for. But I'm sure we'll find out. I'm gonna have her call hint line and tell what to do next. That was the wrong number. Welcome back. How can I help? You still need to decode the will. You still need to give a thimble. Thank you. How do I decode the will? Welcome back. How can I help? Dolores is a game programmer. She has some useful stuff in her room. If you look at the will, she will tell you some clues. Try using the ASCII chart to decode the will. It might. Try using the will on Dolores's computer and see what she's. You need more software installed on your computer that. There is a graphics basic box in Dolores' room. She needs to use it on her computer to write a program. Then, 
Here's the will on the computer again. Thank you. Okay. That doesn't seem to work. I can't open that. That doesn't seem to work. It doesn't work with that. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. That doesn't seem to work. Well, damn. Is that not what it said? Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? Is there you? one of caps? I also, also, I bet you don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. You're right. There is a graphics basic box in Dolores' room. She needs to use it on her computer to write a program. Then, use the will on the computer again. Thank you. I tried using the box. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. I'll need more than a chart to decode this. Like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. Hey, what's up, Nate? What's good, Nate? How you doing, man? It doesn't work. I pick up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Use Graphics Basic. There we go. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. No. There we go. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. After a short 15 minutes of coding and decoding later. Ooh. <clears throat> Everybody heard this, my last will and testament, revoking any and all wills previously made by me. I declare that I'm making this last will and testament of my own free will, being under no threat of coercion or duress and of no other human being. I am free of mind and body. I declare that I have no children, natural or adopted. I have a single brother, Franklin, and he has two offspring, Lenore and Dolores. I hereby appoint Brent Bailwick JD as the executor of my will and direct that he serve without bond. This will is the laws and jurisdiction of Thumbweed County. And all claims and forfeitures will be in accordance with the laws as on the I don't know what that says. I did it. It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Bailwick. What? Nate donate uh Nate tips ten dollars. Thanks, Nate. You rock, dude. Tipping, sending, sending me the tip. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I'll have to play one. Not. It's my specks of dust. I can't eat this pie. I have to give it to Mr. Ball at the will. Yes, Dolores. Do you? Mr. Balowick, here's the uh, freshly baked thimbleberry pie. <laughs> two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie, and the tube is open. You still need to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's octagon tube. Okay. I had a feeling the tube. Yes, it has been opened. My well, I didn't know. No need to be modded. Here's the decrypted will. There's the will. You've done it, Dolores. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Part five, the reading. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Now, all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulate, and next to his room, I, Charles, hereby declare this my last will and testament. 
Blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed Why is he digging? Yes. <laughs> yes. Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all what? of Pebbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> Doug likes farms. Oh my god. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. The in the meantime, That's funny. Safely First Savings now has possession of the Pillow Factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillowtron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillowtronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! What? Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. <laughs> Part six, the factory. That was quick. <laughs> uh, that was quick. Something is very wrong here. That was fast. I need fast. to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. <laughs> Well, guys, we're, we we finished <laughs> part five. <laughs> part five went by super, super, super quick. That went by pretty damn fast, if I do say so myself. Oh boy! Wow, that was that was really funny. <laughs> Alright, we need... I need to figure out how to get him to give me the damn thing, but alright. Where are we at? We gotta, um... Let's see if we can get the... It says it's in the... It said it's... No, 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 no. The bank, the bank, the bank. Bank, 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 bank. Oh, it's open. The bank is open. Ooh. Go to the bank now. Oh, we have found the last... Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. We have all the specs of dust that we need. I don't know what they're for, but we've got them. Hello, Safely First Savings. I should wait until he's off the phone. Are you, are, are you coming on to me? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Moan, huh? It's a small wooden animal figurine. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. <laughs> I think it says pillow factory. I almost had them long enough to get a trace on the call. Can I pick up the factory? Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take things here. It's a bank. I'm a federal agent, and I need to confiscate this key. I don't care who you are. You'll do no such thing on my watch. How can I help, madame? Did you hear about the murder? Of course. It's not every day a body shows up in Thimbleweed Park. Seems like the least of this town's problems. Ooh. What's your role here? I'm Mr. El Palo, the manager of Safely First Savings. I take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. May I ask why the feds are interested in my work all of a sudden? You may not. Goodbye, Mr. El Palo. If you ever need savings or loan advice, feel free to drop by. It's a promotional bank flyer. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Moan, huh? That's... Alright, we got the factory key. Break into the pillow factory. Let's do it. Let's go. Got the key. Got the key. Let's do it. We're in, boys. We're in. 
That was that sounded like that that seemed like that was just too easy to take that. Alright, we're gonna go into the pillow factory, the beloved factory that we've been talking about this entire game. And in part six, we're gonna finally check this out. The key fits. Pillowtronics, the mechanized pillow factory of the future. Established 1954. The doors are locked, and there's no place for a key. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's a Dortron 3000, and it seems to be functioning. It's a large red button. Push the button. Nothing happens. So the doors are locked and there's no place for a key. Their lights. Okay. It's a heavy-duty restraining strap and bolt, and needs a wrench to loosen it. It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Okay. It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It's now in the off position. Okay. So I'm really curious what these time clocks are for. I have to punch things in. Wonder if I have to have all the characters here. That doesn't seem to work. It's my specks of dust. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. This, this is a little bit weird. It's kind of, kind of strange. Get inside the pill for that. How, how? Let's make a phone call. See what we need to do here. Welcome back to the hint. How can I help? Instructions for this task can be found somewhere. Look around. Look inside the rooms around the back of the factory. You'll find a security handbook in the office at the far end of the back of the factory. Thank you. Far end of the back of the factory? You can't get in the factory. It's locked and there's no handle. can't go in there. It's a map of the abandoned factory. Uh, 
Oh man, that's uh, Agent Reyes right there. Because there's the pocket watch. That's his How dad. Touching, if you like kids and pets, which I don't. This is probably filled with clues and puzzle solutions. Uh, 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 I'm not reading this out loud, by the way. When making rounds, be sure to check into each security box in five minutes. Later. Four zero two eight. Call four zero two eight. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station One is three. Oh, five. Oh, five. Station one is three oh five. Can I fix it? It doesn't seem to fit, doesn't seem to fit. I can't push that. I can't push that. I can't open that. I don't want to pick that up. Three oh five. It's a Dortron three thousand, and it seems to be functioning. It doesn't work with that. I can't reach that. Reach that. I can't open that. I can't, open that. I can't push that. I can't push that. Mother of God, how do I? Four four six eight. Welcome back. How can I read the security handbook for instructions? The security clocks need to be set to times that are five minutes apart. Start at box one. Call the number provided in the handbook and then place the watch into the watch-shaped hole. Use the knobs on the watch to make it read the time that was given by the security message. Go to box two and do the same. Repeat for boxes three. Thank you. Okay, so I need to get this. I need to get him. Uh, I need to get him out of town. And he needs to go to the factory. Guys, I will be getting off. Woo! Oh. Big yawn. Guys, I will be getting off here at uh, about at about two o'clock. And I'll be taking an hour break, hour lunch break, and then I'll be back at 3, okay? I will be back at 3 o'clock to play some more of this. Let's do... And then a fat 3...
It'll light up green. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. Oh my god, what was the damn number? What was the stupid phone number? Four zero two eight. It's the key card for my room. Alright, see ya Paul. I'll see you at three o'clock, man. Hopefully you can come back. Thank you for Thank you. No. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 305. 3.05. It's three ten. No, three ten. All right, we're in. We're in, ladies and gentlemen. The Let's doors go. are locked, and there's no place for a key. The doors moved a little bit, but stopped. They must be stuck. I think they're on. I think they're unlocked. It's my this one still be? dust. I think they're unlocked. I think they're unlocked. <laughs> you know what we gotta do now. I'm not gonna open it though. Welcome back. How can I help? It is a heavy door. If something's too heavy, you may need help. Maybe some friends can help. Assemble all the living playable characters to help out with. Thank you. I think they're unlocked. I think they're unlocked. It opened a little more. Damn. Oh, I see what I gotta do. It opened a little 
rope and a little more. It opened a little. Come on, clown. Oh, we gotta assemble all the livable, living, playable characters are all gonna be at the factory. I think someone. She's gotta be she's the missing link to her dad's pillar factory. This is a pillar factory. Oh my god. This is like the longest cemetery ever, by the way. Let's get her. Come on, Dolores. All right, guys. I'm I'm gonna. I think I know when, when I'm gonna stop. I've been going for two hours. I am gonna get off here, but not until we do one thing. know what to do everybody's all together we're all together the whole team is here I think I can squeeze through the opening now I think I can squeeze through the opening now You said it, Clown. This can't be. It's <laughs> not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Uh-oh. Part 7, The Madness. Oh, my. We have started Part 7. <laughs> this looks like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I'll be back. I'll keep the game up. I'll be back in an hour, guys. I'll see you guys in one hour. And we will uh, play part seven. I'll be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys.